Alrighty, good morning everybody. Let me see if I can get my camera to stop bouncing so we don't make everybody seasick. Good morning. How is everybody today? We're going to hang out for just a couple seconds as usual just to give everybody a chance to get here. But I hope everybody had a really good weekend and that you're enjoying all of this warm, sunny weather. Um, I went out and took a walk a couple of times just to get out and get some sunshine and get some fresh air. So I hope you guys are having fun. Um, if you guys are doing anything fun at home, you know, you guys can always comment in the comments and let me know. I'd love to know how you guys are keeping yourselves busy because it's been a long time that we've been in our houses, but hopefully everybody is safe and healthy. That's the whole point. Um, we are so missing you guys. We can't wait till we can go back to the library. But like I said, we want to keep everybody healthy. So we will wait until we can. So we're going to hang out. I have a fun circle time for us today. I'm going to do some books. Um, I have a couple of rhymes. And I have a really fun craft today. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So we're just going to hang out for a couple seconds. See if anybody gets here. Good morning. I see a couple people have popped up. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to hang for just another couple of seconds. Give everybody a chance to get here. Don't forget, I can see the comments. So if you want to comment, let me know who's here. I'd love to know. But we're going to hang. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody enjoying all of this sunshine? I was just saying that I went outside and took a couple of walks to enjoy all of this sunshine. I even took my dogs with me one day. They had fun. They sniffed everything. It took us forever to go around the block because they had to smell everything. So they're such crazy dogs. So good morning. Welcome everyone. We're going to hang for just another couple of seconds. Give everybody a chance to log in and get here. Hope you all are enjoying the beautiful day. We'll get started in just a second or two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like I was saying, I have some fun stuff, I think, planned for us today. I have two books that I'm going to read. Um, we have some songs or some rhymes that we're going to do. And then we're going to end up with a fun craft project that I think you guys will like. So, hi, Dylan and Clara. I'm glad you guys are here. Welcome. I hope you guys will like my stories today. I think they're a little bit silly. You know, if you guys know Miss Emily, you know that she really likes to get silly. So we're going to get a little bit silly with my books today. So hang out for just like one more second. Make sure everybody who's here, who wants to be here. We don't want to get started without every, anybody. All righty. So it looks like we have a bunch of people here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. I'm glad you made it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, don't forget, I can see the comments. So if you guys want to let me know who's here, I always enjoy knowing um, who's here being silly and crazy with me. So we're going to start off a smidge different today. Usually I start off with a book, but today we're going to start off with a little rhyme. And I have some fun little props that I'm going to use for this rhyme. All right. So first I have a whole bunch of snails. What? I have snails on my fingers. Oh my goodness. So how many snails do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, five snails. Hello, Hadley and Tatum. Sorry, I couldn't see that for a second. Um, my snails all say hi to you. Hello, snails. Okay. So let's start off. You guys can just use your fingers and pretend if you want, but this is a little rhyme called five garden snails. So, five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a, here comes a bird. What color bird is this? Is that a yellow bird? Along comes a yellow bird and flies away with one. What? So now there, how many snails are there now? Four. So, four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a, what color bird is this? That's red. Along comes a red bird and flies away with one. Oh no, how many snails do we have left now? We have three. 
three snails. So three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along comes a, can you guys see what color that one is? Oh, that one's not showing up very well. This guy is orange. He's an orange bird. So along comes an orange bird and takes away one. Oh no. How many snails do we have left now? Two. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. In the sun. Along comes a, a blue bird and takes away one. Oh no. We only have one snail left. One garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along comes a, oh no, my bird flew away. Along comes a green bird. And then there are none. Oh my goodness, those poor snails. What do you think? Is that a fun one? I had fun with that. I like, I like all my little snails. Look, he's got really crazy eyes. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Whoops, I had it for a second. There he is. Look at that crazy snail with his eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the reason why I started off with a snail song or a rhyme is because I'm going to do, I'm going to read a snail book. And this is one of my favorite ones because I get to be really, really silly with it and do a really terrible French accent. So if anybody's actually French and can speak French or anything French, I'm very sorry. Um, yes, I do not speak French. I'm not from France. I do a very terrible accent, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So this book is called Escargot. So we have Escargot by Dashka Slater and the pictures are drawn by Sydney Hansen. Look at that handsome little snail right there. All right. So we have our snail. Let me move up closer so you guys can see. Bonjour. I see you are staring at me. I don't mind. My name is Escargot and I am such a beautiful French snail that everyone stares at me. What do you guys think? Is he a beautiful snail? Right now, I am traveling to the salad at the end of this book. It is a beautiful salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. You should come. I just need a little push to help me get started. Can you guys pretend to give him a push? Give him a push. While we are traveling, we can talk. Tell me, what do you think is my most beautiful part? My shell? My neck? My antenna? Oh, I'm sorry, my tentacles? Oh la la. It is so hard to choose. That is because all of escargot is magnifique. You can kiss me if you want. What do you think? Do you guys want to kiss a, a snail? I don't know. Might be kind of gross. Let's talk about our favorite animals. Is yours the dog? The cat? The platypus? The wildebeest? The lemur? The hippopotamus? The snail? What do you think? What's your guys' favorite animals? Is anybody's favorite animal a snail? Maybe not. I don't know. And he says, wait, before you answer, I must tell you something sad. So sad, I might cry. Will you stroke my shell just until I feel better? Oh, can we give him some pets? Can you guys pretend to give him some pets? Oh, poor snail. What's going on? A cat. <laughs> That's one of my favorites too, Hadley and um, Tatum, a cat. All right, so we gave him a, we gave him a pet. He says, okay, now I will tell you the very sad thing. Nobody ever says their favorite animal is the snail. Aw, poor Escargo. Perhaps you think snails are slimy, Escargo. You are too slimy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, the trails I make as I travel to the salad are shimmery trails of, what would you call it? Not slime, more like shimmery trails of shimmery stuff. Oh, I see. Clara's favorite is a cat and Dylan's favorite animal is a shark. Ooh, that's an exciting one. But enough about me. Do you also make a shimmery trail? What do you think? When you guys travel around and walk around, do you leave a shimmery trail? behind you? 
Now, I know I don't. Nope, oh, Dylan also says a snail. Oh, we'll have to tell Escargo. He'll like that. What is your favorite kind of salad? You look like the kind of intelligent person who enjoys a salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette and absolutely no carrots. The kind of person who might say, my favorite animal is the snail. But perhaps you think, snails are shy, Escargo. You are too shy to be my favorite animal. Oh, contraire, I am quite fierce. This is the face I make to scare a lion or a wild boar or a carrot that sneaks into my salad. Oh no, he looks pretty fierce. Do you think he could scare away a carrot? You see the carrot here in, on the board? Can you also make a fierce face to scare away the carrot? Maybe we should roar at it too. Can you make a fierce face? Oh, and can you roar at the carrot? Caesar salad is our favorite, says Hadley. You know what, Hadley? I think I have to agree with you. That is one of my favorite kinds of salad too. Oh. Escargo says, that was a very fierce face and a very loud roar. Uh-oh, we may have scared him a little bit. Do you want me to come out? What do you think? Do you want him to come out? Yeah? Really? Then you must say, come out, Escargo. Can you guys say that? Yeah, okay. Can you guys say, come out, Escargo. Come on out. And then we have to say, come out, and I promise I will never put a carrot in your salad. Come out and I will kiss you. Wait, what? Here I am. Do not forget my kiss. What do you think? Do you guys want to kiss a snail? Can you blow him a kiss? Mwah. What do you think? I don't know. I kiss you back. Mwah. Am I your favorite animal yet? Perhaps you think snails are slow, Escargo. You are too slow to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, I just don't like to hurry. A French snail likes to relax before enjoying a salad with a few croutons and, some, and a light vinaigrette. But if I wanted to, I could run faster than the cheetah. What do you think? Do you think a snail can run faster than a cheetah? I don't know. You don't believe me? I will race you to the salad at the end of this book. Whoever gets there first will be the fantastically fast champion of the world. And also your, excuse me, and also your favorite animal. On your mark, get set, go! Do you see how fast I am? I'm fast like the wind itself. Whew, I just need to rest for one second. Can you blow on me to cool me off? What do you think, can you guys give him a blow? <laughs> okay. Now I am ready for the final sprint. I win! Oh, you are here too? A tie! We are both the champions. We are both magnifique. Let us celebrate by eating salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. Bon appetit! But wait, this is not the right salad. It has a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. And carrots! What? We if we, we know yeah, if we know one thing about escargot is that he does not like carrots. Uh-oh. Escargot does not eat carrots. Escargot has never eaten a carrot. Escargot will now make a fierce face at the carrot. The carrot is not running away. Uh-oh. Perhaps you would like to eat the carrot? Go ahead, try it. I will make you a deal. If you will try it, I will try it too. On the count of three, we will take a very, very, very small bite of the carrot. Do you guys like carrots? You gonna pretend to eat a carrot? Okay, ready? One, two, three. That carrot was actually delicious. <gasps> so delicious that I might have forgotten to share. Look, he's got an empty salad bowl. You probably won't choose me as your favorite animal now. You will choose instead the baboon or the koala or the earwig. But that is okay. C'est la vie. I will tell you a secret. You are very beautiful, even if you don't make a shimmery trail. 
You are very fast, almost as fast as escargot. And you can make a very fierce face. Don't show me, I remember. You are magnifique. In fact, you are my favorite animal. And so I kiss you, mwah. And there he goes off making his shimmery trail. What do you think? I think that's a really silly one. I like escargot. And thank you guys for participating. That was so much fun. Okie dokie. So now we're going to switch from snails to spiders. Does anybody here like spiders? I try to like spiders. Um, I like tiny spiders. I don't like really big spiders. So we're going to do another little song called There's a Spider on the Floor. And because unfortunately my camera can't see all the way down to my floor, I'm going to pretend that my hand is the floor. But if you guys want to bend down and have a spider on the floor, go for it. Okay, so we have our spiders. This is gonna be my pretend floor. So we're gonna go, there's a spider on the floor, on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Who could ask for anything more? There's a spider on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Now he goes on your leg. And you guys can't see my leg, so this we're gonna pretend this is my leg. Now the spider's on my leg, on my leg. Now the spider's on my leg, on my leg. Oh, he's really big. This old spider on my leg. There's a spider on my leg, on my leg. What? Now the spider's on my stomach, on my stomach. Now the spider's on my stomach, on my stomach. This old spider's on my stomach. Oh, he's just an old lummox. There's a spider on my stomach, on my stomach. Where does he think he goes next? Uh-oh. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. I'm gonna be a wreck. I've got a spider on my neck. There's a spider on my neck, on my neck. Where do you think he's gonna go now? Uh-oh. Oh no. There, now the spider's on my face, on my face. Now the spider's on my face, on my face. Oh, what a big disgrace. I've got a spider on my face. There's a spider on my face, on my face. Where is there left for him to go? Is he gonna go up? And now he's on my head. Now the spider's on my head, on my head. Now the spider's on my head, on my head. Oh, the spider's on my head. I wanna go hide in my bed. There's a spider on my head, on my head. But he jumps off. And then, where does he go? There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. Who could ask for anything more than a spider on the floor? There's a spider on the floor, on the floor. The end. I think that one's really funny. And I'm glad that it was just my pretend spider and not a real spider. If there was a really a real spider on my neck and my face and my head, I don't know. I might not be too happy. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's do our, our other book. And in case you didn't guess, this book is about spiders. And this book is called, I'm Trying to Love Spiders. What do you guys think? Do you guys like spiders? Are you willing to try to learn how to love spiders? Do you think this book will help? Let's find out. So I'm trying to love spiders, but it isn't easy. The Words and Pictures by Bethany Barton. I keep telling myself, spiders are cool. I want to love them. I mean, spiders have been around for millions of years. Moving silently, swinging into action. I want to think of them like bug ninjas. Like this spider right here. I'm gonna try really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a while. I think it's working. Ah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Can you guys help me squish it? Squish. Uh-oh. That didn't work out. But next time, we will be better. Next time, I'll focus on all of the cool superpowers spiders have. Like eight eyes. What? Could you imagine all the things you could see if you had eight eyes? And spider webs. Spider webs are cool. And here's some different types of spider webs. This one's called a funnel web. This one's called a spiral orb web. And this one's called a sheet web. 
Spiders spin webs out of protein-packed spider silk. They make themselves. That's like you or me building a house with our hair. Oh my goodness, could you imagine building a house out of your own hair? And then catching food on it. You. That doesn't sound very good to me. That sounds really good to a spider. Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs on their legs that let them stick on walls or ceilings or... Oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck on there. Smash it, smash it, get it right now. You think I saw me smash a spider? Smash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. All right, let's practice some more. We're gonna, we're gonna love spiders. Here we go. If only spiders were more like the things I really love, like burritos and soccer and rocket ships. Instead, their closest relatives are also totally gross. So some of their relatives are scorpions and ticks, both things I don't want to run into either. But it's not like I'm scared of every icky thing. It's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. Spiders can't chew very well. They need liquid foods. Since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender. Could you imagine a spider-sized blender? It'd be like this big. But since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender, spiders rely on their venom to dissolve, dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. You slurpable bugs. But to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spider, only a few can bite humans, and even fewer can harm you with their venom. Really, there's only two, one called a, a black widow and one called a brown recluse. The black widow, let's see if I can see, there we go. The black widow has this little red hourglass on it, and it's hard to see here, but a brown recluse has a little black shape on it that looks kind of like a violin. So those are the only two spiders that can actually hurt a person. Fatal spider bites are so rare, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't panic. But there's definitely a spider over there. And we're not gonna squish it, right? We're not gonna squish it this time. We're just trying to pet him, maybe. Can you pet a spider? I'm gonna pet him, I'm gonna pet him. Uh-oh, that didn't go very well. Whoops, nope, I squished him. I'm never gonna love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should focus on what spiders are good at. Like eating bugs. That's gotta be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in one year. So you see this big pile of bugs? That's 75 pounds of bugs. That's just like a big dog. This is a boxer. I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. That's really cool. And, oh wait, look like some of those, looks like some of those bugs made it over here. Oh no, we got tons of bugs. What? Get out of here, bugs. I can't even read my book with all these. Hey, wait a second. What's that spider doing? What happened? The spider made a web and caught all of the bugs for us. Oh, wow. Thanks, little guy. That was really impressive. All the spiders are gone. Oh wait, what's this little dude here? I don't know, let's find out who that guy is. Aw, did you make that for me? Look, he even made a heart in his web for us. I think I might finally love Cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away. Can you guys squish the cockroach? One thing at a time. We're better with our spiders and next time we'll have to practice cockroaches. What do you guys think? Is that a silly one? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our craft and our craft is gonna be spider themed. So let me just move over here. And I just need to move my camera for a second. All right, let's see if that's gonna work. Okay, so to do this craft, oops, 
There we go. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but my camera blinked for a second. Okay, so to do this craft, we're going to need some paper. Oh, this is very close. Let me see if I can get this to go away a minute. Uh, we'll have to do that. What if I do that? There we go. That might work. Okay, sorry guys. So we have some paper. Always have some paper towels, just in case we make a mess. I might need to wipe our fingers in a little bit. We're gonna need a toilet paper tube. I know you guys probably have lots of these around the house. And we're gonna need some paint. Um, if you guys have black paint or brown paint, that might be best. Miss Emily does not have any black or brown paint. I've got red paint. So guess what? We're gonna do red today. We're gonna to use our imaginations. Um, the other thing you're gonna need are some scissors. And I was practicing earlier, so I've got a paper plate with some red paint and a nice paintbrush. And then if you want for later, there's a marker. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper towel roll, and at the bottom, we're gonna start cutting some slits. And we're gonna need to cut enough slits to make four legs on this side. So let's see if you guys can see me, there we go. So we're gonna cut one, and use your grown-ups help for this. Sometimes the cardboard on the tube is a little hard to cut. Two, so there's one leg. We're gonna cut three. Now we have two legs. We're gonna cut four. There's three legs. And we're gonna cut five. And we only wanna cut a little ways up. We don't wanna cut all the way. So then, whoopsie, it's alive already. So now we've got one, two, three, four spider legs. What do you think? Does that kind of look like spider legs? All right, now we're gonna flip it over and on the other side, we're gonna make five more cuts to make four more legs. So I'm gonna start off, let's say here. So that's one, you guys can still see, right? Yep, two, three, four, five. And so we've got one, two, three, four legs. So now we've got four legs on this side and four, let's see, how can I do that? There we go. So four legs on this side and four legs on this side. So now again, you'll probably want your grown-ups help for this one. If you kind of bend all the legs down, we have these two extra pieces. You see these? We're just gonna carefully cut them off and cut. And there we go. And we're just gonna get rid of them so now there's a couple of ways you guys can do this. I was practicing a couple of different ways earlier today. And this is why you want to have your paper towels handy because this might get a little messy. So make sure you have your grown-ups with you and your grown-ups help. Um, I'm going to start off and I'm going to flip my spider upside down. And I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm going to get some paint, not a whole lot. We don't want a ton, but we're going to paint the bottom of our spider legs. You might have to like hold the legs up to get all the paint on there. They're a little bendy. We'll quick paint all the legs. Paint, paint, paint. Yeah, my spider's trying to run away again. All right. Make sure there's enough paint on there. We're gonna do one more here. All right, so we got all the legs and the last thing we need to make sure we paint is all the way around this circle here. It's kind of hard to do. You kind of have to like dab it, but make sure there's paint on the circle. Okay. So now that we've got them all painted, we're going to turn them upside down on a piece of paper and we're going to smoosh. And what you might have to do is take your finger and press the legs down to get a good print. So press, press, press. And then when we lift off, hopefully, uh oh, kind of. What do you think? Does that kind of look like a spider? The other thing you can try is if you have a little bit of paint on your thing, you can try dipping your spider right in the paint and kind of do like stamping. Make sure he's got enough paint on his legs and then come back over to the piece of paper and stamp. And you might want to press his legs down again. And then lift, uh oh, kind of. You can go back 
and make it a little bit better. It's a, a good thing when you when you're grown up to help you cut your spider legs to make sure they're all about the same length. Oh, and I just had an idea. What we could do, if you guys are very careful, because you see Miss Emily is getting very messy here. If I take the other side of my spider and dip it in the paint, I can go back now. And if I carefully press it, there we go. Now I've got a good circle. So let's quick do that for the other one. Press it in. Oh my goodness. So what do you think? Do you think uh, that they look like some spiders? You guys can practice with that and make some really, really good looking spiders, I bet. Um, so this is why I said that black or brown might be best if you want to make realistic spiders. Uh, my spiders aren't very realistic, so I've got red spiders. You could pretend that there's such a thing as a red spider. And you know what? I bet you there is. You guys can look up, if you're allowed on the internet or with your grown-up's help, you can look up pictures of all kinds of colorful spiders. Um, there's, and you can probably even find videos of spiders doing silly dances. Okay? So now I'm going to real quick wipe myself off some. I'm going to, when I'm done, I'm going to have to go wash my hands right away and make sure you pull your sleeves up. I pulled my sleeves up so I don't get any paint on my sleeves. All right. So then once you have as many spiders as you want, you'll have to let it dry and then you guys can decorate your spiders. So I'm going to be really, really careful since my spiders are still wet, but I have my markers and let's see. How many eyes did we say a spider has? A spider has eight eyes. So let's see. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think this is a happy spider. So I'm going to give him a little smiley face. Here, I'll turn that upside down so you guys can see my happy little spider. Or if you're just, if you don't want to make... If you're making like more like a cartoon spider, <clears throat> you can make, you can make him have only two eyes and give him a smiley. So there's my spiders. Um, what you guys could also do if you wanted, you could draw a spider web on the piece of paper before you start stamping your spiders. Um, if you guys have like googly eyes that you could stick on your spiders, you could do that. Or if you just want to color them in and decorate them, that's really fun too. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Let's see if I can get that to stay a minute. Uh oh. Ugh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My camera stand is a little tough to move sometimes, but there I am. I'm back. All right. So if you guys decide to make some spiders, you can always come back and post them in the comments and let me see your spiders. But I'm going to go wash my hands. I am all full of paint. So make sure when you're done, you go wash your hands. Don't get paint everywhere. Um, I'm going to go do that. I will see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for coming and playing with me. Bye, guys.